Happy Memorial Day weekend. I just want to take a couple of minutes and share a few thoughts with you about Memorial Day. Every year when Memorial Day comes around, I try to read stories uh, about sacrifices that have been made for our freedom, soldiers that have given their lives, that, that uh, gave their life up to save another soldier, uh, that died on the battlefield so that we could be free. And, and they're amazing stories. Uh, but when I think about my freedom, I always go back to uh, June the 6th, 1944, D-Day in Normandy, France, where the Allied forces, uh, which was Canada, England, and us, we joined our forces and we stormed the beaches at Normandy in five different places because we understood that if we were going to win World War II, we had to have uh, some sort of garrison, some sort of, of uh, presence in Western Europe that we could have our supplies and our men there and go out from there. And that was one of the bloodiest uh, days in the history uh, of America. We lost 2,501 soldiers that day in one day. And those guys knew when they were stepping off the ship, those that were at the beginning, at the first, they knew when they stepped off those ships and that they were gonna be running through the water, that they were just sitting ducks for the Germans. And those first few thousand that came out knew that many of them were going to die. In fact, uh, the president, when he ordered the attack, was told by the military officers, we could have up to 75% mortality rate on this, and yet we knew it had to be done. And those men died so that we could be free. And, and with all the other stories that I hear, that one is still the most impacting to me, that those guys were willing to, to jump off those boats and run through that water up on that beach, knowing they were gonna get killed, so the guys behind them could get there and take that beach uh, for America. Wow, that is, that is impacting. I wanna tell you a couple of things that, that make sense to me about uh, both Memorial Day and our freedom and our freedom in Christ. Let me make a couple of parallels. One is uh, freedom is worth fighting for. Freedom is worth fighting for. Uh, every freedom we have today as Americans is because those guys were willing to fight for those freedoms. If, that, if Normandy had not happened, we might be speaking German right now. The world might look like a completely different place. We might not have democracy if it weren't for those guys. And you know what? The things we have today, they're worth fighting for. But think about Jesus Christ. Isn't that the same true for us as Christians? Jesus thought we were worth fighting for. And Jesus went to the cross and died on the cross. He gave His life for us the same way those soldiers gave their lives for us so we could have freedom. Freedom is worth fighting for, and Jesus fought the battle for us and won. And every Memorial Day, as I stop and I pray and I thank God for those soldiers that gave me freedom physically, I can't help but go to the cross and thank Him for Jesus who bought my freedom as well. Second thing that's just obvious about Memorial Day that I think about every year is that the cost of freedom is blood. The cost of freedom is blood. These wars are fought, cost people's lives. It's the blood of people. It's the death of people that bring freedom. And, and how many of those guys, 2,501 guys on that one day to take that one beach so that we could get a stronghold in Europe, so that we could win that war for us, for us. That's a lot of blood. But think about the sacrifice of our soldier, Jesus Christ, who went to the cross. And what bought our freedom? His blood bought our freedom. His blood. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that buys my freedom, that takes away my sin, that washes me clean. So when I think about Memorial Day and I think about the death of those men for my freedom, I think about the death of Jesus Christ and the blood of the cross. It's the blood that washed away my sin so that I could be set free and live with God forever. Thank you, Jesus, for that. And then finally, Memorial Day is just a, just a time of gratitude. Um, I love this holiday. The older I get, the more I love it because I'm so much more grateful now, at my age than I was 10 years ago and 20 years ago and 30 years ago, uh, any sort of entitlement that was in me, I've kind of grown through all that, and I understand I'm not entitled to anything, that everything I have is the grace of God. The freedoms I have in America is because of the, the, the price other people paid for my freedom. I really haven't paid a big price for freedom as an American. But boy, did, 
am I appreciative for, for some people who did, who were willing to pay the price. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for every soldier that serves in the military. I'm thankful for every soldier that has ever died to protect my freedom. And I'm thankful even more than that for my Savior, Jesus Christ, who was willing to die for me so that my sins could be taken care of and so I could walk in freedom. So happy Memorial Day. Enjoy your day, but would you do a favor for me? Would you just stop, just stop for a minute or two? And would you just thank God for one, your physical freedom at the expense of those people that died for you and for your spiritual freedom at the expense of Jesus Christ that He died for you. You're free, but it wasn't cheap. Your freedom was bought by the blood of people who love you very much. Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for um, men and women in the military over the years that have been willing to fight battles and die on the battlefield so that I could have freedom as an American. And I don't take that for granted, and I thank you for that. But Father, as much as I love my freedom as an American, I love more my freedom as a believer. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Thank you for washing away my sin with the cost of your blood. And Lord, may I never outlive my love and appreciation for you. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Go have a great day. God bless you.